Hello and welcome back everybody. My name is Little Corn Dogs, and in today's video, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make a scrap plane in Scrap Mechanic. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so before we get started, you guys, I just wanna let you know that I changed my settings to, uh, if you go to controls here, uh, I have one is T, two is G, three is F, and four is H. Now this is because when I'm flying, it's so hard to fly when I have WASD controls on my keyboard, and then I also have to click one, two, three, four to like tilt the plane and do all that good stuff. So I just have my fingers side by side, WASD and T, G, F, and H, and it's really easy. So um, just add it as a secondary button layout, and it will change your flying in Scrap Mechanic forever. So. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about and you don't understand what I mean, uh, just change your settings to that if you are going to build this plane and you will understand exactly what I mean at the end. Uh, your controls will be really nice and super easy to, uh, yeah, just control your plane. So we're going to start off with the tilting forward part of this plane. So let's go ahead and do that. So we are going to need a bearing and then we are going to need a controller. Let's go ahead and block this side off like that. And then we are going to need a bent bar, just like that. Now that we have that, we are going to add a suspension, and then we are going to add a block on top. I guess we don't need these guys up here. That's I made it a little bit too tall. Okay, so now that we got that, let's go ahead and add a button. We'll add the button in there. Uh, I just deleted that block, so we don't have any collisions like that. And we are going to connect the button to the seat the button to the controller and the controller to the uh, bearing there. So now we're going to do red and then make it fast. And then as you guys can see, once we delete the lift, when I click one or T because I changed the button layout, we tilt forward. So that's perfect. We need a plane that can not only tilt backwards to take off, but tilt forward. Um, you know, trail makers is a little bit different than scrap mechanic where they actually have some uh, aerodynamic physics, but uh, this game does not does not really have that. So, <laughs> uh, okay, let's go ahead and do the same exact thing, but instead of it tilting forward, we're gonna have it tilt backwards so that we have that backwards tilt. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and build that, just a bearing, and then we're gonna get, oh, where'd it go? There it is, that, and then we're going to get the suspension piece, and then we're going to do a block again and the same exact thing here with the where is it the button and then the block so it's looking good actually what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this one up um, because this is going to be tilting backwards and if that button was right there i feel like it would just really really have a weird collision so uh we're going to connect the button to the seat and then the button to the controller and the controller to the uh, bearing. I keep forgetting what that's called, I don't know why. So, because this one needs to be going backwards, we're gonna make it blue. For some reason it's green in here, I don't know why. But there we go. So now we have T, when we click T we go forward and then when we click uh, G we go backwards. Now, it's looking good. But we need to have a uh, yaw, like turning like that, which is super easy. And then we are going to need roll that can go uh, tilt us left and right. Okay, so let's go ahead and go like this, because we're going to need it on this sideways plane instead of directly with the plane like the other ones. So we got to get a bearing down. We are going to do the same exact thing. It's basically just copy and pasting the same thing over and over and over again. But uh, you know what? It, it works. So... I'm not gonna complain. It makes it easy, easy as pie. So uh, we got that, and then we are going to put a suspension piece on top and a block on top of that. Now, I'm gonna build up some wood on each side because no matter which way I want this to tilt, uh, I want there to be resistance against this hinge, uh, or I guess bearing there. So um, is this all connected now? Okay, so now we got three. And three, I think, is set up to F, so we're going to want it to tilt, I guess we gotta go, uh, is it red? And then F, we're gonna test this out. So when I click F, yeah, okay, so that's perfect. So now we're tilting left, so we have forwards, we have backwards, and then we also have left roll, just like that. So, uh, now we just have two more things to do, and first off, we're gonna copy this one again. So, same exact thing except I'm gonna do it on this side, 
Uh, or I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's just keep it the same. So, there we go. And then I'm going to do... Oh, wrong way. There we go. Just like that. And then a button. And then a suspension piece. And on top of that, a block again. So, you guys are probably pretty bored right now. It's pretty repetitive. But, uh, yeah. It's, it's really, really, really easy if you think about, uh, you know, how everything works. Now, this all looks like a big old cluster, a big old mess. So uh, what we're going to do is just go the opposite way. And then that's done for all of the tilting at least. So we have T, we have G, we have F, and then we have H. So everything's working. So it's really cool here is if we tipped over, then we could just tip ourselves right back over. But the one thing that is the most important instead of tilt is actual turning. So um, the best thing for you if you are confused on where to put a turning uh, hinge is to do it right in the center, like the center of gravity or the center of your craft or airplane or car or whatever you're building. Um, so basically I just like to put a block somewhat roughly in the middle. Uh, I prefer a little bit in the front and then go like that. Uh, let's go ahead and flip this guy over. It's going to be hard to, but there we go. Okay, now I'm going to squat down. There we go. It's perfectly on its side. So let's go about right here. And then, oh no, that button. I just broke that button off. Okay, I'm good. I flipped it over and I reconnected that button. So uh, what we're going to do here is now put the bearing on the bottom of that. And then we're going to get this pipe piece here, just like that. And then the same thing. We're going to put a suspension and then a block. And then we're going to connect this hinge that we just put there, the blue one, right to the seat. And we should be all good. Okay, so as you guys can see, we have the forward tilt. We have the backwards. Oh, what? What, what did I do? Did I not connect it? Oh, I didn't connect it. Okay, there we go. Now we have the backwards tilt. And then we have the left. Whoa! Whoa, I clicked the wrong button. Uh, we have the left tilt and then the right tilt. And then, of course, we have the uh, the turning connected to that new hinge that we just put on. And we could turn extremely fast. I don't know why this one's 10 times faster than all the other ones, but you know what? Uh, that's fine. I'll take it. That's totally fine. But now that we have all the internals and all of the parts that make this thing work, um, I mean, you can really just throw a thruster on here if you wanted to and uh, start flying around, but uh, that's not really that cool. Uh, you know, I, I think it would be cool to make a plane and design a plane. I think that would be the best. So because it's a scrap, uh, a scrap plane and not a beautiful jet or something like that, um, I am going to just randomly place these blocks all around it just like this and uh yeah have the chunks missing and all that and then we are going to just put a wall up like that so it's just going to be the same exact kind of thing maybe i'll delete that and then just do the same rounded bits here but i'm going to design the plane and then i will be right back um it's just basically cosmetic stuff but uh, i will do a quick little time lapse of me building this uh trashy plane
Okay, so uh, now that I have the design of the plane, I'm gonna add some more mechanical parts. So what I'm going to add is, let's go ahead and get an engine, and then we're gonna need some thrusters, and that should be about it for this thing. So um, here we go, a thruster. Okay, there we go, finally, an engine. Okay, now I'm gonna get some parts for a propeller, and then let's go ahead and get a hinge so that we can connect it all. So um, nothing here is really gonna be all that symmetrical, um, but I think that that's fine uh, because it is three wide, so you know, it's like at least the wood is. Uh, but yes, yeah, so we got that. Let's go ahead and get some wood just so we can cover up this thing with the blocks. There we go. And then something. You know what? I kind of want the engine exposed. I think I want it like that. I want to see some mechanical parts on this thing. I don't want this thing to look pretty. Are you kidding me? I want to see all the mechanical broken up parts uh that's not the right way um is that the right no still not the right way um come on did i just flip it again there we go look at that okay so now that we got that let's go ahead and connect all these oh man i'm gonna put this on the lift what am i doing this thing is gonna kill me if it keeps spinning while i put these blades on it okay there let's go ahead and go there oh, i like the two I think I'm gonna stick with two. That's really nice. All right, I'm gonna have to bring all my tools back in this hot bar. I keep forgetting that I keep switching it. So, um, just like that, and then we're gonna turn it up. Uh, let's connect this to the seat so that when we start driving, it'll just start spinning. So, we got that, and now we're going to need the thrusters. Now, the thrusters, uh, I think I'm just gonna make room for them in the back. I know that this spot here is pretty empty. I wanna double check that. Okay, I just wanna like, make surgery and start cutting things open and then all this stuff just fall apart so uh that looks good um let's go ahead and cut a little section out of there and then i'll fill this back in because from the bottom i want to put that this uh thruster in here because it's a little bit hard to to place down these thrusters for some reason i don't know why so we got that and then we're gonna get this thruster and boom just like that that easy so um now we are going to put this thruster in somewhere we're going to find a spot i think we gotta put a roof on this part here too so just like that put it back on the lift okay perfect just like that and then thruster number two. Oh, i guess we gotta clear some room for it um okay cool now i'm gonna stagger these because the back one is on the right side so i'm gonna put this one on the left side um, and then, uh, it's all just a balancing game at this point, to be honest with you. Uh, we're gonna put it at three and find out how that works. Um, it might not be enough power to lift us up off the ground, but we will find out. Let's do a little test flight here. And there we go, we can get inside now. Okay, so when I click W, nice, the front propeller is spinning. No, it's just not enough lift, uh, of thruster power there, so... We'll just go ahead and up these again. I say like two more. And that should be good. And then let's go ahead and hop in the seat. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. So now, is that going to work? No. Still no. Wow, this thing must be extremely heavy. Okay. Let's just max these things out then, I guess. So there's that. There's that. And then we're still going to have to add two more thrusters on this thing afterwards. Too. Okay, so cool. So look, now we can technically fly just like a like a quadcopter kind of thing, you know, like a drone. Um, but I don't want this thing flying like a drone. I want this thing flying like an airplane. So let's go ahead and go back. Let's come in for a landing here. But um, can I switch the camera? Follow camera. There we go. Okay, so let's go ahead and try and land. But as you guys can see, the controls are awesome. And it really makes it easy when you have the button layouts to T, G, F, and H. So... Um, let's make it look like a natural airplane landing, even though it's not. There we go, super floaty. <laughs> but now let's add the thrusters on the back. I think what I'm going to do, I'm legit just going to, like, delete some blocks. Um, because this is, this is scrap mechanic, you know? Nothing in here works with real physics. So it's fine if it's not using real physics. So we got that. Got that, got that, got that out of the way. Now we got forward thruster. Now we're going to do the same exact thing on this side. Okay, there we go. And then we're going to connect this to, or these two to the seat, I guess. Just like that. 
and I'll do half speed just so we're not like flying off like we have nitrous on this thing. I want this thing to fly like a normal propellered plane. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and take off. Oh man, no, we're gonna need more thrust. What am I thinking? That is, that is not as much as I thought we were gonna have. <laughs> okay, there, let's turn these things up. Honestly, everything here is already to the max, so let's just do it to the max. So, um, let's go ahead and take off that and start going. Wow, we have a whole lot of lift in the front, even though there's not really lift in this game. I think it's just because the weight of the two thrusters in the back is like really weighing us down, but man, look at us go. This looks so cool. I mean, it definitely looks like a, uh, like a janky plane, but I'm going to paint this thing up and then uh, we will be right back. All right, you guys, we are back, and look at this thing. I mean, I, I understand it looks like a pile of garbage, but in, like, the best way possible. It's, like, a total crazy scrap plane. Like, you could you could definitely tell that somebody grabbed a bunch of random parts and they think that it would make it fly. And uh, to be honest with you, it flies really good. As you guys can see, it's super balanced now. All I had to do is just lower the uh, front thruster just by one and it flies like this. So we have a little bit of nose heaviness and that's about it. Everything else is super cool. So we can tilt like this, we can nose dive just like that. And uh, yeah, it really feels like I'm flying a plane. You know, uh, Scrap Mechanic doesn't really have legitimate uh, like aerodynamics and things like that. It really only has like gravity and maybe some water physics, but that's about it. And um, yeah, if I just let go of W, then we kind of just coast here and kind of just glide. So it's really cool. It's really fun. I mean, we fall with style is more of the, more of what I meant by that. <laughs> but it's super cool, you guys. I hope that uh, this video could at least, you know, educate you on how you can, you know, create vehicles that have tilt like this and, you know, can do like backflips and things like that. And uh, yeah, just fly more legit than just some thrusters and you trying to lean in your seat to uh, control stuff it's just it's not it's not that accurate compared to actually having physical uh, you know hinges and not hinges I'm getting uh, mixed up with trail makers <laughs> with uh, like bearings and things like that it really does just change the whole way that the aircraft or anything that flies um, you know UFO whatever you're gonna make it, it really changes the way that it works so Anyways, let's go ahead and go for a backflip here. I'm going to put it on strict follow camera. Now, this thing is lacking a little bit of power, but it's looking good so far. Come on, tilt back. Woo, look at this go. Oh my gosh, I hope we're not like nose diving into the ground. But yeah, this thing works really, really good. Like it, I mean, especially in this camera view, it looks like we're actually flying. Uh, we're kind of falling. We're falling. Oh my gosh. Come on. Come on. Come on. You know, I should have made this thing out of cardboard, not only to make it a little bit lighter, but also to have it, uh, you know, get be able to get shot down and watch all those pieces fly off. But yeah, this thing's super cool. Uh, of course, the paint job is just totally random. Uh, there's nothing like, you know, unique about the paint job. It's not a certain style or anything. I literally just spammed a bunch of different colors and we got that. So it's a hunk of junk, but like in the complete best way possible. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys. I know this video was a little bit slower, but uh, hopefully that, you know, it taught you a little bit more about how to build aircrafts in trail maker, Not trail makers. Whoops. Scrap mechanic. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you guys in the next video.